Okay, ladies and gentlemen, today I want to share with you a quick tutorial on the application Voice Dream, which is uh, developed for, in my case, iOS, and I have an iPhone 6 Plus, and I want to share it with you. I have the application open, and I just want to give you an overview of the interface, and then I'm going to go through some of the settings and buttons and all that. So number one is I want to show you how this interface is, and if you guys want to look it up, you want to do a search for voice dream dream is d-r-e-a-m and the application it allows you to read websites books from bookshare uh, group project gutenberg your google drive it can bring in pdf files um, ebooks all kinds of media that you can bring into the application and read it um, so the idea here is i want to show you really quickly how this works and what the interface looks like i do have the application open and there are some things that are required when you install it and you'll see it but i'm not going to cover the installation today i'm just going to cover some of the application usage and um, number one is um the application layout so i'm going to put my finger on the top left hand side of the screen here on my iphone 6 plus T mobile network status add button okay add button and i'm on the top left hand side there's a button called add here it's labeled add and i'm going to right flick here with my finger filter all items button Okay, there's a filter that you can use. Edit button. And then an edit option so you can reorder all these books that you have already added to your book list. Search field. Then the search field, if you want to search for a book that you've already added to your book list. New, Breaking the Bank. Jonas Eltis Matunda. Okay, so these are books that I've already, I've already landed on the list of books here. So I'm going to show you a few that I have already downloaded from several sources and then I'm going to skip over many of them so I can get to the bottom of the dialog box. New, spiritual leadership, principles of excellence for every believer. J. Oswald Sanders. New, put your dream to the test. John Maxwell. Good to great. Jim Collins. About seven hours, 11 minutes, 50. Okay, so I want to share with you how this book reader works and let me let it read one of these entries completely. New, con 0081. New, new, good to great. Jim Collins. About 7 hours, 11 minutes, 52 seconds, 36% red. Daisy format. Actions available. So you notice that it has a daisy format and it's uh, it tells you how many hours the book is and how much has been read. And that depends on the speed of the reading that you have set. Okay, so I'm going to skip through all these books really quickly here. New, new, what's new, new, nutr xss and Okay, so what I want to do is I want to go to the bottom here. Put my finger at the Review, bottom here. But now reading button. Setting, selected, list view, button, grid view, button, sort order, button, quick start, new, pride and prejudice. Okay, I am back at the book list. I just, I was just left single finger flicked so that I could get to the left side to the list of um, the uh, different books that I have listed here. And I want to right flick here with my thumb finger. I'm actually holding my phone with both hands and I'm using my thumb to flick right. Quick start. About one minute, 48 seconds, 100% red. EPUB format. Actions so you available. could do EPUB, you could do a DAISY, you could do PDF, you could do text, you could do website, you could do all kinds of books in here. And what, and what I encourage you to do is to get this application and to try it out with uh, downloading some of the books. In the next part, when I show you the layout of this application, I'm going to also show you how and what to do with uh, Project Gutenberg books and Google books. Sort order, button. Project Gutenberg and... Bookshare books, rather. Grid view, button. Sort order, button. Okay, sort order is so that you can set the sort order for the books, but I'm going to show you that in a second tutorial down the line. So let's keep going here. Grid view, button. One of two. Grid view is an option there, and we're going to go through it later. Selected, list view, button. Two list of two. List view is what we got. Settings, button. Settings. And let me flick again. Now reading, button. Now reading. Now reading button. And that's the last one. Okay, so now that we've got all the information here for the interface, uh, let's go through, let's see, let's go through quickly the settings uh, dialog box here. Settings button. Settings heading. Dismiss pop up. Orientation locked. Status So item. I'm going to put my finger on the top left hand side. Dismiss pop up. And then I'm going to right flick. Settings heading. Close button. Cloud sync button. Repair library button. Okay, cloud sync so you can sync with the cloud. You can repair the library. So cloud sync will allow you to sync with iCloud. Content sources button. Content sources in there is where you can choose 
the sources that you have, you know, such as Bookshare, Gutenberg, and all the others that you have. And you can add new ones as well, such as websites. But this is an overview, so I'm not going to show you that today. Manage my voices button. Manage my voices is if you have extra voices and you've downloaded them, now you can use them there. And you can choose whichever ones you want, or you can install new ones. Contact us button. Oh, contact us. You know what that is. Quick start. Quick start is uh, just to get quick card information. User manual. User manual, of course, you know what that is. About 4.0.4, 4, 4043. Okay, that's the about. About 4.0.4, 4, 4, 4, uh, dismiss pop-up. I put my finger on the top left-hand side of the screen, and I'm going to double tap. Add button. So now that you've seen pretty much the dialog box here, a quick overview, what I'm going to show you is how to add a book. And I'm going to give you the example of uh, Bookshare. And the idea here is uh, that I'm going to show you one source, and then later on you can work with other sources. But the idea with uh, Voice Dream here is that I give you enough so that you can get a taste for it. And after I add a book, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you through the book interface so that now you can see how it works. So really simple intro. And if you have any questions, of course, you can always post them down below and we can take care of answering them or putting up a tutorial for that. Add button. So I'm on the top left hand side of the screen and add button. I'm going to add a book here. Add document heading. Okay. They say add document because it supports pretty much anything. Oh, so let's go to, let's say Bookshare. I'm going to right flick here with my thumb. Close button. You can close this dialog if you want. If you didn't mean to be in here, you can double tap on that. Cloud storage, iOS. Cloud storage. Clipboard. Clipboard. Dropbox. There you go, Dropbox. So if you add something from iOS Cloud, that, you know, iCloud, then you could do it through. Clip cloud storage, iOS. iCloud. Clipboard. From the clipboard, so if you pasted something into the clipboard, you could grab it and put it in as an entry to read, which is really good to have. Dropbox. Dropbox, so if you have a PDF, a text document, any EPUB document, a daisy book or something you want to bring in from Dropbox, you could do that. Google Drive. Google Drive, of course, you know what that is. You can bring in stuff from Google Drive. Bookshare. Bookshare, that's what we're looking for. Let's go through the whole thing here and then I'm going to go back to Bookshare. Evernote. Evernote, look at that. You can bring stuff in from Evernote. Gutenberg. Project Gutenberg, you guys know what that is. My store. My store is, this is a, a, a custom source that I added recently and I'm going to show you that in another review, another tutorial so you can see. More. And then there's more. More. And we're done. So let's left flick here and go back to Bookshare. My store, Gutenberg, Evernote, Bookshare. Okay, I'm going to double tap here to open up Bookshare. Bookshare, heading. Okay, I want you to know that the first time you do this, you're going to have to put in your user and password and all that. And you're going to need to do that from sources. But uh, right now, since I have it all set up, pretty much of what I could do is I could do a search. So I'm going to put my finger on the top left hand side of the screen here. Bookshare, heading. There. And let me left flick here. Bookshare, heading. Okay, I'm on the top left. I'm going to right flick. Close button. If I didn't want to do this, I could close. Search field. Now, search field. Before I get into the search field, let's see what the default options are here. Selected, title, button, one so of four. So by default, the title is what's selected. So let's keep clicking here to the right. Author, button, two of Author. four. ISBN, button, three you of four. You can search by ISBN. Full text, button, four you of four. You can do a full text search. Popular, button. You could do a search by popular. Latest button. The latest books. School grades button. School grades. Categories button. Categories. Periodicals button. Periodicals. Download history button. Download history so you can check out what you've downloaded. Download history button. And that's it. Let's go back to author. I'm going to go to back to author so you can see. Periodic category. School grade. Latest. Popular. But full text. But ISBN. But author button. Two I'm of four. I'm going to double tap here. Selected author. Two of four. And then I'm going to left click up to the search field. Title, search field, title, button, search field. I'm gonna double tap. Search field is editing, character and then mode, I'm type insertion in some point stuff. at start. Cap U, unit cap Y, cap H, hotel, cap J, O, H, G N, N, B, delete, V, space, jump, N, M, D, A, F, D, X, E, W, E, o L, delete, search, Okay, I'm going to search for John Maxwell, which is uh, one of my favorite authors. Search. Search by author. Back button. And now I'm on the top left hand side of the screen. I'm going to verify that by left flicking. Back button. There. I'm going to right flick now. Search by author. Heading. Close button. I could close if I didn't want this. 100 results. 
So 100 results. I'm just going to get to the first one here. Equipo 101, John, download button. Auto Super Assassin 101, download button. You see? El Mapa de Miso Eno, download button. Mentor 101, John, download button. Mentor, so 101, Mentor 101, John Maxwell, and then download button. I could double tap on download. I'm not going to do that right now, but the book will download. And then what you do is you tap on the top left hand corner of the screen. Back button. And you hit back. Bookshare. And then, Bookshare. Heading. Close button. And then you close. Close. New. Con 0083YF2TR3. And pretty much that's the overview of the Voice Dream Reader. If you guys have any questions and you want to post them down below, that would be great. I can respond to that as soon as possible. Or you can email me at blindtechchannel at gmail.com. Blindtechchannel at gmail.com that's b-l-i-n-d-t-e-c-h channel at gmail.com thank you very much have a nice day